3D printing or additive manufacturing is gradually becoming more accessible to consumers. The technology will make it as cheap to produce a single item as it is to make thousands, which could see mass production give way to mass customization. Thomas Marie reports. Chris Mupembu wants new shoes. He goes through the motions, visiting shops, browsing numerous styles and trying to find a pair that fits. Now imagine this. Chris designing shoes exactly the right size, shape, style and colour he wants on his computer. Pressing print, then watching while a machine on his desk makes them for him. Sounds far-fetched, but with 3D printing technology, it will be possible. Look, basically there's, there's a lot of different technologies available today, uh, using different systems, liquid materials, powdered materials, extruded materials and so on. But essentially they're all working on the same principle of building an object up in one layer on top of each other. 3D printing has several advantages over conventional manufacturing techniques. With additive manufacturing, that, we, that we, is a correct term for 3D printing, uh, you're only using the material that actually goes into the part with minimum waste. There's, there's, there's maybe about 5% waste on, on the part. So you, you save in, in that aspect. And because the technology now allows you to to build geometries that you couldn't previously do uh, with your conventional methods. You, you can create parts that are stronger, that are lighter, that are cheaper. Um, yeah, so it's, it's going to revolutionize the way we, we make things. The technology also reduces barriers of entry into the manufacturing sector. In terms of many of the conventional methods that it needs to compete with, one looks at a uh, turnaround time of one to two days for creating a new part. In the conventional uh, industry, this might take anything between 10 to 12 weeks, which means that in terms of uh, a product's life cycle, uh, the inventor can enter the market much quicker with a product. There is, however, a downside. 3D printing will eradicate the need for labor-intensive factories and millions of jobs could be lost. You will see uh, probably a uh, trend of job losses in the countries that previously forced down inferior products uh, to the rest of the world and most probably they will have to diversify their manufacturing industry. The flip side though is that the technology could encourage entrepreneurs to enter the market due to its ease of use. It could also reduce Africa's reliance on imported goods, encouraging domestic growth. What I hope to see is that we will have more South African and African indigenous innovation on the market and less uh, products forced down on us from the international world. As I see the uh, usage of these machines grow, I also see a new generation of researchers, scientists and engineers in South Africa that will not only use these technologies to grow uh, its application but also will be the developers of future technologies of this kind. And the technology goes beyond the manufacturing sector. Michaela Janse van Vieren, a mother of two, is an artist with a doctorate in electrical engineering working from home. To get away from the city, she moved to Donkerhoek outside Pretoria, where she creates movable sculptures using 3D printing. At the moment I've got two very young children, a two months old and a 17 month old and as you can imagine it is chaos. <laughs> the great thing is I can be a stay at home mom, I can be whenever anybody's sleeping or when there's some time in the evening, I go sit on my computer, I work on my designs, when I'm finished with the design I email it off, so I haven't left my house yet, <laughs> you know? I email it off and it comes back. So it, I can be involved in technology without being part of a big company, without having to invest huge amounts of money in uh, tooling or machines so it, I can actively participate while still having a great balance and still being at home and still being at home. With its potential to reduce barriers to entry, minimize waste and customize production, additive manufacturing could lead to a surge in entrepreneurial activity and may level the playing field for African manufacturers. But governments need to monitor the introduction of the technology in order to minimize job losses.